I was gonna make a top 10, but instead, let's make a tier list. Going from S, A, B, C, D, and lastly, F. S being the best, F being the worst. And if you disagree with any of these opinions, put it in the comments below and every single client link will be down below. Watch this video and let me know if you agree with me. Without further ado, let's check these out. First, we're gonna be checking out is Solar Client V2. Hey, the home doesn't look bad, you know, it just looks average. We got play, we got realm invites, which actually takes you to realm invites. I like that. But the you know, the home does look pretty basic. Notice the settings are basic, and you have this option quick, which doesn't do anything for some reason. I don't know why. You can easily change your perspective right here, which is not bad. Yeah, this options quick is literally your video settings, I think. Or just quick. Oh, it's quick options. Okay, so it actually works. Kind of wish they changed that name. It looks a little bit weird. But these are quick options, so you don't have to go all the way into like video or all the way to audio. I like that. That's actually very beneficial. Um, change your render distance. Kind of wish they had a little FPS thing here as well. Don't want to go into the video. You know, they could have put that FPS right there in the quick options, but it's fine. And does this thing have any sub packs? It does. Default, and you can go to green screen plus free. Okay, so this makes a really big difference when you're making thumbnails as well. I know a lot of y'all struggle to make some thumbnails. You know, this would help. I struggle myself apparently this client also has a mod menu as well let's check it out Ooh, okay so this client does have a hitbox which is not bad indeed does help with pvp do not use this on block hunt you'll be able to see what block is what and what block is a human you know this is cheating on a hive literally cape is not too bad you can see that it does have a bond menu mod menu and then you got the little uh moving status on the bottom left jumping moving sprinting I love that. You got the armor hut on the bottom right, doesn't look bad. You got the little compass on the top, doesn't look bad. But for some reason, this client does feel copied. Maybe this was the first ever client to look like this, and oh my god, it even has this. Ah, oh, Technoblade will never die. But it just feels copied. I'm not really a fan of the crosshair. But we can also go over here to mod menu, and we could also click on crosshair. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way we can actually change the crosshair, but it's not really showing me here. Not bad, not bad. Not trying to be harsh, but this client will definitely come in, um, come in deep. You know, there's a lot of improvements, and like I said, it just, it looks like it's copied. I don't know why it feels like it's copied. It feels like it's Asteroid client. That's the client. But, yeah, I'm gonna give it a D. It's not an F. It's a D. There's room for improvements, and like I said, it just feels like it's copied. All right, coming up next is Performance Q1. This is just aiming on helping your performance. I'm not going for overall, like, just features. I'm just going for overall, just, does it actually help with performance? I can't tell, but... I've heard this work. So this is how it looks, you know, it doesn't really change a lot, which is a good sign. If this client says, oh, it's a performance client and it literally has so many things on a home screen, and so many features, is it really a performance client? <laughs> Get the performance Q1 on the bottom and the settings. I like the quick, I love it. You can easily change the first person, third person back or front. Very, very useful for mobile users. And it says recommended settings for better FPS. I like how it has it right there. So you look at these settings, you can take a little screenshot, go into the video and copy the same exact thing and it gets the job done. I love that. We also got hide hand, hide hut on the top. Beautiful. You got the change log. I love how they put the change log and I see a lot of clients doing these good stuff and everything just looks fantastic let's go into the world and see if it actually changes things i don't think it does but we'll see and yeah it doesn't really look like it changes things it has a little fps counter on the top right which looks like it's accurate because i do normally get around that fps but it doesn't look accurate let me know if that's actually accurate on the top um in the comment section below because i think it is it's actually looking like it's accurate and in the bottom left it shows what game mode we're in or uh, what additional minecraft we're playing we're playing windows 10 edition current item if i hold a sword or just hold like a plank it doesn't show that oh actually it does there we go i will simply give this i'll give it a c it's not bad um and like i said i already get a lot of fps as it is and my performance is already good i don't know if this actually increases or decreases fps let me know in the comments below but from the feedback it helps coming up next fortress client oh you already know fortress client look at the home look how it looks and i like how it has the minecraft version right there got the beautiful logo play options achievement mc story you got your profile pic and your xbox name all that on the top right it looks fantastic it's i love it we can go over here to options we can see it looks oh it has that clean vibe i love it you can change your perspective quick access hide hand hide hud dynamic i love that beautiful fortress client you can see the creator all that etc you got the features extensions texture packs tweaks uh, basically a change log it looks fantastic global resource packs i don't think this thing oh it does have multi-packs and look how it looks it's so clean this is a client i would normally use like it just looks fantastic go to a world real quick and see if it actually changes something and oh oh my god so yeah that little uh <laughs> 
That little keystroke is not accurate and it's very, very big. You got the little logo on the bottom left, which is not bad. You have this little red arrow. Apparently there's a way you can actually fix that red arrow for some reason. I forgot how someone say you have to do this or that, whatever, I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, it also shows a direction on the top, which doesn't look bad. F1 apparently just oh, okay, just disables it. Yeah, there's a way to fix that arrow, but hopefully they fix it in the future. Maybe they did. And then, oh my god, this is how it looks. Look at the pause menu. Look at that. It looks so good. And you could tell that they put the time and effort into this. We also have a beautiful cape, beautiful little fortress tag on the top with a halo and a bandana. Looks fantastic this client is on if it's obviously gonna be a b there is room for improvements i would make it an a but there's a lot of things that red arrow now it's moved directions and you know there's some things that they can do you know remove that keystroke it's way too big i think this is made for mobile but yeah good stuff coming up next Better rock mines. Beautiful client. And this is made to just overall optimize. And maybe I think I've heard that this actually increases FPS from what I've heard. So increases FPS. Get your Minecraft version. It changes the overall layout. And it doesn't change too much to the point that it would make your Minecraft lag. It changes only what it needs to change. So it could obviously increase increase the play. Like it just looks fantastic. We all could admit it. Got the little play, got the little settings. And then we have some more stuff on the right. You got the marketplace. You could change your skin. You got your realm invites. What is this? Oh, we could enable our skin on the bottom right there, which looks fantastic. Or we could disable that. I love how they have that option. Settings, player, graphics, change camera perspective. Basically quick settings. I love when clients have these. It makes a huge difference for mobile users. We've got the normal graphic settings. We've got advanced graphic settings notification duration i've never seen this before we got to see more we could also turn it off if we want to um recommendations and i love how it has recommendation for the best performance beautiful and if we want to disable all of these the profile creator subscriptions you can always disable it and enable it simple Alrighty, on to the world and you can see that it doesn't change too much the only thing that i see changed is literally on the bottom right i don't know if you can see that but it says better optimize active which means that's active literally and like i said this is just made to just overall make your playthrough smoother which is not bad oh what in the world is this you can whoa and it actually copies your core. I've never seen that before. Wow. First ever client to actually copy your exact coordinates. Just in case you're on a server and you don't know your coordinates and it doesn't show in the top left. You can also do your coordinates and you can copy it and just send it off. This is very useful, especially if you're playing on a hardcore uh, faction server or just a survival server in general. This is very, very useful. But other than that, doesn't add too much. Just overall makes Minecraft feel better. And that's what Better Optimize is about beautiful this is easily and y'all may be confused it's gonna be easily in an a easily it's so good it gets the job done and literally one of the best texture packs ever seriously it's not a well, client next up turtle pack aka turtle client oof it's been a while since i reviewed this one here's turtle pack and wow it changed a lot settings on the top left achievements dressing room play marketplace exit does this just change anything okay so it doesn't really change too much but the buttons Oh, that's satisfying. Settings. Um, wow. They change a lot. So this is basically quick settings. You could change your perspective. I kind of wish they made it, you know, a little easier on mobile users, not just going on settings and clicking on that and then clicking on that. Just minimize how much mobile users can do. You got your render distance, view bobbing, brightness, FOV. I like how they have these quick settings right there. You know, you don't have to go into video to just change your render distance. It's just, it's right there. Video settings, beautiful. Not bad. Interface settings, not bad. Total pack shows the credits. I love how they credited what they took from. I like that. Mods, how to add custom music. You can actually legitimately add custom music. I think this thing has sub packs as well. It does. Yes, it does. And you could choose to have no particles or particles. I have a little turtle thing. Okay, so the turtle client logo on the bottom just literally says unlock game when I already had the full game. I don't, I don't know why clients do that. And no hard feelings if I give a client a low rate. You know, I love all clients and I love the work they do. But this client has a lot. You can see the little armor status on the bottom right there. We also have the time that you played on the world on the bottom. But the last section is the second. The second section is the minutes and the third section is the hours. I like when clients have that. And I mean, it's very useful for speedrunning videos. So people know stage speedrunning videos. They can actually see how long you've been playing for. Definitely highly recommend people using this client or this pack if they're doing speed running videos just in case, you know, people like to fake things 
And yeah, we also have an M which doesn't work. Maybe this is the client section or the little mod menu section. I don't know. I don't know. I like that animation on the chat as well. Um, and oh, I like how the pause menu is looking. Not bad. And settings looking the same. I'm gonna give this client a C. You know, it's not bad. There's a lot of room for improvement. They know that. I don't really like how the home looks in my opinion, um, but the pause menu does not look bad. Everything else doesn't look bad. It's just the home and certain things I wish they added, but it's not bad. I'm gonna give him a C. Next client is Asteroid Pack V1. Beautiful. You see that? You see how clean it looks? Oh, this is, and a lot of people likes this kind of vibe as well. Um, so you got the client name on the top right, marketplace skins, your Xbox profile name and pick right there. Got the settings little thing right here, which looks fantastic. Look how clean it looks. I love Asteroid Client. Video interface, mods, um, custom music. It kind of reminds me of the client that we was just checking out that we gave a C, the turtle client. Asteroid pack, global resource pack. Does this thing have any sub packs? It does, so you can use default or no particles. Kind of like the same as the previous pack we just reviewed or checked out. Yep, actor free cam, um, custom name tag, not bad. And we also have a video section, which doesn't really have anything added, so it's not bad. You know, I feel like this client is made to look good, but not really hurt performance too much, which is not bad. Okay, let's go into the world, see if it adds anything. Maybe it has a mod menu, we'll see. What in the. <laughs> It literally looks like the turtle client before so I don't know what client copied which but it's literally the same layout the time on the bottom right the arm hood on the bottom left we got the XYZ on the bottom left and we also have a mod menu which you can tap on mobile or you could just literally press escape and just hit mods and you can see all the mods right here so you can actually add custom music and it'll show right here and you could play and you can stop it let me play this you hear that let's stop it that's fantastic. Armor HUD, all of that, beautiful. And you can actually change your, cuss, your your crosshair as well, which is fantastic. So you can change it to any of these crosshairs and it looks fantastic. My favorite one is crosshair seven. We could say probably crosshair nine, crosshair 10, and possibly crosshair two. These are fantastic crosshairs. And I just like how clean the client looks. It's phenomenal. And it doesn't have too much unnecessary things that would make you want to just delete the client. You know, there's been clients that done that. I'm gonna have to give this client like, pfft, an A. It's really good. Like I said, a client doesn't even, it doesn't need to have a ton of features for it to be an insane client to have an A or S rating. It doesn't. But if it has features that people need and that gets the job done, wonderful. Coming up next, loosen the client. Oh yeah. Love it. You can already see we got a little animation. Beautiful. I mean, who doesn't want to make their Minecraft look different? Come on now. And yeah, this looks fantastic. And some of you guys may think this is Lunar Client. This is by no means Lunar Client. You know, please, it's not Lunar Client. I don't want people thinking of this thing, which is the realms. We got the world and we got the servers. I like how you can click that on the, that looks fantastic. We got the settings icon as well, which doesn't change. I kind of wish that they changed the whole home. Hopefully in Lucid Client V2, they change everything and just make it look clean, match the overall UI. It looks phenomenal. Video doesn't really add or change anything. Quick doesn't really, oh, you got a little frame rate. It's not bad. Gets the job done, but it's not bad. We got a quick play, which actually automatically creates a world for you. I'm pretty sure it automatically creates a creative world. So if you don't want to do the work of just creating new that, da, 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 you can click quick play. Go into a world real quick. I'm pretty sure it has an insane mob menu. It's been a while since I reviewed this client. So check it out. Beautiful. Doesn't really add too much, but we do have a little mod section on the top left. Hit that and yeah, fake hacks. I don't know why you would have vape v4. Man, I'm not trying to get banned. I'm just gonna disable that. I don't know why they even have why would they even have that? Um, and you can also change your crosshair in this. So you have a lot of options. It's easy. You could just enable, disable, enable, disable. It's so and you can actually add crosshairs on top of each other. So they say that you want this one with this, you could put the oh, that actually looks oh I'm yo. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me turn that actually I like how this looks. I'm liking this. Oof, I don't know why. It's probably maybe one of the cleanest cl client crossers. I don't know why. And yeah, you could just do so many things. This client has everything you could possibly ask for. And I highly, highly suggest you download this client. Looks phenomenal. And I'm going to give this client, mm, I'll give it also a B. I'll give it a B. There's room for improvement. 
but what makes it a B, which could have possibly been a C, but pushed it to a B is the mob menu kind. Like the mob menu looks so good, it has so many features, every features that a PVP -er could ask for. I wish I had toggle sprint. Hopefully soon, you know, these texture pack clients will have them. But yeah, it has every feature a PVP -er could possibly ask for. And it looks fantastic. It gets the job done. Doesn't look ugly. It looks phenomenal. I can't wait for V2. Coming up next is new client. Oh, I've just recently reviewed this client and man, phenomenal got a little animation right there and just look at the home wow you got your android it shows the fps type max fps network xbox live true shows your name all of that the overall layout looks fantastic you can click on the logo right here you have that nice little sound fantastic um you also got the settings which looks amazing this changes so much and it just makes minecraft overall look completely different it looks fantastic this is amazing and certain things you can actually like change the layout so this is a mobile layout this is mobile compatibility mode and this is pc compatibility mode so i know this would probably look this would look weird on mobile so if you want to change it up you could change it to mobile or pc or whatever it just looks fantastic first person third person is the first um settings you could change your fps type you could change your frame rate so you can unlock it or keep it locked or max and you could change your control type which looks fantastic. And I've never seen a client do this in my life, especially have these custom buttons look fantastic. I think this thing has sub packs as well. So if you wanna have cape and no wing, you can do that, or you can have a wing and no cape, whatever you wanna do. You, you can't tell me that this client is not God tier. This is the client. You can see how it has a little flame animation on the hot bar showing what you selected. So as soon as I go into the first hot bar, which is the plank, you can see that the little flame animation in there, which looks fantastic. We also have some buttons on the top, which shows F8. F8 shows our game mode, our UI type, our clock, compass, scoreboard, all that, etc. cetera, which looks fantastic. F1 just obviously disables things. F3 doesn't really do anything. P is the chat, or T is actually the chat, which looks fantastic. Look at that, that looks, that actually looks better. E is just your inventory and you can remove, or these don't work for some reason. I've done this on video, these two buttons don't work. I don't know why. Press escape and you can see it just changes everything. This is, this is just made to overall, like just make your playthrough better. And it looks like it increases FPS, but seeing the amount of things that this client has, I, I doubt it. I doubt it helps with FPS. Changes everything, settings, and oh, it made a glass breaking sound. This looks amazing. This client is made if you just want to just change your overall playthrough experience. And this is easily going to go in an A. And if y'all disagree, please put it in the comments below. You know, no hate to y'all, but this client deserves it. Second to last is Better Better Our Client V4. Beautiful animation, you can click anywhere. You have this animation, it looks fantastic. I love the backdrop, I love it, it looks whew. You can go over here to, uh, where's the option? There it is. Options, you have a nice little animation as well. It has a creator info, the client, the client support, upcoming features, credits, and hey, if you wanna see the little change log, you see the change log from V1, how many features was in V1, two, three, or four, and hopefully V5, well, we know if V5 is gonna be God tier. But you can just see what's been added, what's been changed in every single change you know, version, which is fantastic. No need to go to the Discord, it's all right here. Video, which has everything. I love how beautifully laid out it is. It's so organized, it gets the job done. Love it. And it also has some sub packs as well, not sub pack, additional packs you can add to the client. Um, if you want to add more features, you know, I like the client how it is right now. And you also have waypoints, you have a mod menu, you have potion effects, direction HUD, debug menu. Death point. So as soon as you die, it'll automatically set a waypoint of where you died, which is, ooh, this is so powerful, especially if you play survival servers. And you have a little green screen mode, which is fantastic. Right here it is. So let's click on pause, click on menu, and it's nothing too crazy. But some people may like that. I like that because it has every feature you could possibly ask for. And it's nothing too buggy. It just gets the job done. Uh, direction HUD, effects icon, scoreboard, debug, boss menu. You could change up the chat to a uh, bottom chat, which is Java or just your normal Minecraft chat, messages, all that, etc. You name it, it's here. This client looks amazing. And it even has the server, you know, logo and name right there. So if I was just doing a hive, it'll show a hive and it'll show the little hive logo right there where you see my world and the better bedrock thing. This is phenomenal. It gets the job done. And this will be the first client that actually will be in S tier. It looks fantastic. It's really, really good. Love the community. Just always updates and it just looks phenomenal. S tier client right here. And the last client working for only Windows 10 edition. I'm pretty sure y'all know exactly what client I'm gonna be talking about. Is the one and only honest client. This, 
I've no, I've seen this client, known this client, used this client since the very beginning, and the improvements I've seen ever since it's been since it was a baby basically has been phenomenal. I remember when it looked like a hack client, or it was based off of a, I think it was priced off a of Horion. It was basically uh, um, edited version of Horion. It removed all the hack stuff and just had the things that people needed. And I'm pretty sure it just went up from there. Um, I'm pretty sure if we click on L, we can have a module settings. And I'm not going to read out every single thing that this client has, but you can see what it has. The main things that people want, especially PVPers, toggle sprint, toggle sneak, armor HUD, auto GG, CPS counter, custom crosshair, creative tools, FPS counter, you know, etc. keystrokes, pack display. It has everything you could possibly ask for for your PVP needs. And it, it really gets the job done. And it, you know how better acquisition could, you know, obviously cap your FPS, you know, depending on how much hurt your monitor is, V-Sync basically. You can disable V-Sync. Now, that is almost impossible in the newest version of Minecraft, but Honest Client literally overrides that. So if you normally get capped at 60 FPS, you would be getting doubled or tripled the FPS with their little V-Sync disabler, which is fantastic. I mean, if y'all on Windows 10 and you haven't downloaded Honest Client yet, I don't know what y'all do. I don't know where my keystrokes and things went. We we could easily enable it. Toggle Sprint, enable, just right click on it. Oh, we have our keystrokes. Where is the FPS, FPS counter? There we go. We could also edit where we want them. So we're gonna put that right there. FPS counter, we're gonna put that right there. And yeah, look at that. It just sticks and it's literally, it's literally a Java client for better acquisition. Y'all play Windows, please, I highly suggest you downloading this. And you already know Honest Client comes in S. It literally comes in S. It has everything, it's phenomenal. They push updates. As soon as they're a new version of you know, Minecraft and the client is not compatible with it, they update it super quick, usually like a day or two or a week, a week maximum. They're super quick on it and beautiful. I, I love it. I'm glad this client has over 100,000 people in their Discord server. If you haven't joined it already, join it. Literally join it. But thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all want me to do another Minecraft client tier list, let me know. I know this video is a little bit longer than usual, but I just want to explain why I feel like these clients are, should be in this tier, that tier, and etc. So if you want me to have another tier list video, maybe if we can get a thousand likes, I'll make another one. It's not hard and I love reviewing these clients. And if you want to download any of them, make sure you check the description below. But thank y'all for watching the video. It's your boy Patsar. I'll see y'all in the next one.